What would you do if you had just inherited $1 million and you didn't have any debt whatsoever and a good job making 3000 per month cash flow or 3000 per month? So I'm assuming that we're making enough money and then there's $3,000 in cash flow left over uh, each and every month. So let's run that real quick. I've had this happen multiple times. So the reality of inheriting money is a, a situation, right? It could be good. It could be bad. So let's look at it. All right, Doug is putting us in a situation. He said, let's, let's say I'm making uh seven K spending four cash flow three, right? Say I got a good, good job. Like he said, right? Good job. Um, good career, solid. So we'll use those numbers and, and no debt, right? Completely debt free. Okay, cool. So three times 12 is 36, right? 12, 24, 36. Yeah. That's how much cash flow I make per year as is. And I just walked into $1 million completely tax free inherited. Let's say it came from life insurance, right? The death benefit completely tax free $1 million in my name. Okay. From a kingdom perspective. Okay. This is just principles of life. You don't have to follow it. This year just asks me, what would I do? So here's what I would do immediately off the top. I want to give, All right? So we give 10, I want to save 10, I want to invest 10, and then I'm going to give another 10 on top of the 10. And that leaves me with 600 K. Uh, from there, I'm going to do some outreach. I'm going to develop a team. Okay. I'm going to retain, build relation with CPA, lawyer, a doctor, most likely a chiropractor, a pastor, CPA, lawyer, doctor, pastor, financial coach, business coach. Sometimes it might be intertwined both. Sometimes these roles will be intertwined. Sometimes you got a coach who's a pastor or a pastor who's a business coach or CPA who's also a lawyer, you know, or lawyer has a firm that also covers CPA. So sometimes you can kind of bulk these things together so it doesn't get so overwhelming, right? So what else? We have CPA, lawyer, doctor, pastor, financial coach, business coach. What am I missing? Um, oh yeah. So I need a, I need a real estate person, investor. Um, probably want to discuss ministry and that'll probably come from the pastor, right? To discuss, you know, in addition to multiplying and growing this money, how can I, you know, walk in my, my purpose, All right? So I need to figure out having this whole team is going to help me develop my skills, gifts, talents. Okay. Should be able to reveal my purpose in life. And that's a done deal. I'm probably missing something here. Probably need an insurance guy as well, for sure. Right. And again, some of these roles can be, um, like for example, let's say you took me on, I'm a financial coach. I can talk business and insurance. So boom. And I can also talk ministry work. So it's like three covered real estate guy, CPA, lawyer, doctor, pastor, other things. Um, and especially if I want to build a business, I'm probably going to do, a, I need a marketing person as well. So in this case, that would be my guy, uh, uh, Alex Alboran for marketing and uh, building business, things like that. But this is exactly how I operate. 400 grand, take that off the top. I don't want to look at it. I act like I just received 600 K instead. I don't have any debt and I'm still cash flowing. I'm going to maintain my same lifestyle. I'm not going to be, you know, flaunting my money. I'm going to be really figuring out how do I make this money last? as long as possible, right? And, and, and maximize those dollars. How can I multiply that? I want to make that 606 million in the next five to seven years. That's going to be my, my ratio.